Yes, I already gave that to the police. I'd just like to hear it from you. We're asking everyone. Oh, good luck with that. Now, let's get to brass tacks. What's the real story with Nancy Drew? She's not guilty. It's not up to me to decide innocence or guilt. It's up to the public. Actually, it's up to the courts. <laughs> yeah. Well, officially, that's true. But the court of public opinion makes its verdict before the actual courts can even schedule a hearing. Guess which one matters more? Uh, the legal courts? Were you writing a story about the fire? Writing? Yes, I was writing a story and broadcasting and webcasting and macro and micro blogging. I own this story. Wait, <laughs> what's the difference between macro and micro blogging? Is like micro blogging like Twitter and macro is like what Tumblr? What's the difference? Are you going to continue reporting on the fire? If I didn't, I wouldn't be doing my job. The fire is the biggest thing to happen here since old man Crowley's will was found. Good. I need your help. I need to know everything you know. In my line of work, you have to work for the answers. If you want to talk to me, you're going to have to give me some good info about Nancy. I don't like the sound of that. As my dad always used to say, What are you going to do? Cry about it? You ready to do this or what? Sure? Sure. All right. Do your worst. Who would want to see the old town hall burn down? Don't know. Don't care. Has Nancy always been interested in starting fires, <laughs> or is that a recent development? You didn't answer my question. So, you're reluctant to say. Probably not a recent thing, then. Tell me about Nancy's dark side. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm talking about Nancy. Okay, my turn. Wait, you didn't let me <laughs> ask a question. Yes, I did. You asked me what I was talking about, and I said Nancy. <laughs> Speaking of Nancy, is it true that she's been known to skirt the law when she's on a case? No. So then she just flagrantly breaks the law. Good to know. <laughs> Stop, that's not what I said. I don't want to be interviewed. I just need to find out what's going on with Nancy. <laughs> okay, all right. I'll put the kid gloves back on. Everyone in this town is so shy. I'd kill for a little verbal sparring now and again. You gotta be primed and ready for the big time. And I get nothing here. So you're looking to move on in your career? Yep. Believe it or not, this backwater berg doesn't cut it for me. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Brenda is so good. You didn't treat us fairly in the articles you wrote. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I change what you said? No, you took what was said out of context. It seems that way, but trust me, it's not what happened. It's common for subjects to be nervous and forget what they've said. You can't blame me for that. You'll get better. <laughs> Anytime you want to practice, let me know. We could talk about Nancy. Yeah, yeah, no, no, we're not going to do Have that. Have you turned up anything on Tony? I'd love to. That's the only thing that can make this story better. What do you mean? Tragedy? Government cover-up? Now that's a national story. I would kill for Tony to be wrapped up in this. Do you think Tony might actually be behind the fire? My sense tells me no. But my ratings say please, please let it be her. <laughs> Why? She looks all upstanding, but she's on the take. I mean, she just has to be. She has to be, does she? All right, I think that's Bye. enough with Brenda. Drop by if you've got any hot tips. Oh man, Nancy the Firestarter. Jeez, that was too much. Okay, let's go back inside here uh, to, oh, we can look here again. Okay, so that's the same newspaper article. Hello? Or right, is he over here? Salutations. Have you met Deirdre? Don't know her. Know the family enough to know that I've got no interest in meeting her. Why is that? Her parents are dull and unimaginative. They only care about money. What are the chances that they're going to have a non-tedious, non-awful daughter? Mm-hmm. Can I try that old game you have? Okay. What do you know about Tony? Well, she's on the city council, so she's either corrupt or deeply immersed in the corrupting process. Not everyone in politics is corrupt. Seriously? Where is your youthful cynicism? <laughs> yes, all politicians are corrupt! <laughs> absolute power corrupts absolutely? Why do you distrust politicians? Because yeah. they don't care about people like you and me. 
When they're running for office, we're just votes to buy. Once they're elected, we're just collateral damage for whatever or whomever's buying them off. That's pretty cynical. What do you know about Brenda? The reporter? She was in here pestering me earlier today, too. Are you all taking turns or something? <laughs> Send the next guy in with a sandwich, would you? <laughs> Are you hungry? Is all this questioning making you hungry? What did Brenda ask while she was here? I don't like it when people ask me questions. Right now, you are pestering me with questions about previous questions that I was pestered with earlier. It's just recursive and rude, and now I have a headache. <laughs> He's got a headache. You're not a very chipper person. Why is that? I oh. once was. Really? Oh, yeah. I had a lot of fun in life. I had friends. I met the girl I was going to spend the rest of my life with. Okay, then what happened? What do you care? You some sort of tourist in other people's misery? No, it's just... This shop is pretty cool. It seems like you'd be happy to run something like this instead of grumpy. You'd think that. I was happy. But one time, just once, I tried to speak truth to power. And man, if I didn't pay the price. What does that mean? It means my life has been a cruel joke. Try as you might, it's hard not to let that influence your general mood. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. What happened to end your career? Well, when you make it your business to tell the truth, you make a lot of people mad. That's what happened to me. I, I was 20. I've been around the block a few times, been working my own cases for 10 years at that point. I'd seen it all. I'd been kidnapped, knocked out, hexed, cursed, locked up in a trunk, you name it. But I always nabbed the baddies. Always. That is, until I turned in J.P. Bennington for cheating his way into City Hall. The Bennington family was very powerful in those days. Still is. In fact, Tony's brother-in-law is a Bennington. What happened? He accused me of stealing one of his father's priceless antiques, this ancient magnifying glass that was supposedly used in the drafting of the town charter supposedly belonged to one of the town's founding fathers. Why didn't you just say you were innocent? Ooh, that's a really good <laughs> idea. I did, in hundreds of ways, to anyone who would listen. It didn't matter. That's not fair. No, it isn't. My life was just beginning. Then in a blink, I was cut off at the knees. No one trusted me, no more cases. I lost everything. I wanted to see the world. I was going to. Then, just like that, he took that from me. Now I try to bring a little of the world to me when I can. But look around. This isn't enough. Whew. Well, we came in here to say hi, and we got a whole life story played back to us. It kind of makes me think of, like, an original Hardy Boy. All right, let's do this one, and then we'll do the old game. What happened to Bennington? He slandered me in the press, and people forgot about how crooked he was. He got into City Hall. His career took off, he became a judge, and moved on to the big time. Bye-bye, River Heights. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye, River Heights. Can I try that old game you have? Game? Oh, yeah, that. I haven't played that in ages. Be warned, I rebuilt that game, I know the tricks, so I'm pretty much unbeatable. Okay, here we go, folks. Oh, boy. All right, you're back. Well, we're back to the number punch game. Oh, Alexi, I know, he's had a rough life. Oh, okay, so, uh, I think if I do this a couple times and fail, it's just gonna pop out the, uh, what we need. So we gotta do this. We have no choice. And ready, set... So we have to basically get to 41 as quickly as possible. And go. Ah, there's two. Uh, where's one? One. Two. We need six, we need six. It's eight, there's seven, we're six. Ah, too much pressure. Six is a big giant six. Now we need ten. There's twelve. 
How many? 13. 14. Now we need 16. 16, 17, 19. Coming together nicely. Uh, there's 25. Where's 24? Thirty-two. There's thirty-five. Now we need thirty-six. There's thirty-eight. Ah, <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty. I'm so close. Can't find thirty-seven. I can't even imagine doing this on senior. That should be that'll be insane. Ugh, I can't find 30. Oh, there it is there. And then 41. Okay, well we made it a little bit better. Now we gotta do it again. Yay! Go! Hopefully this is the last time we have to do this. Um Eight. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen is next. I see fourteen verse thirteen. That see it's too much time wasted here. My eyes are going all squinty here. Oh my gosh, this is really hard to pay attention to. 17. 18. Music's nice. Okay. Two. Where's 23? 25. Six. Six. Seven. Twenty-eight. So close, but so far. Thirty. Not gonna do it. Oh, man. No, uh, so where's 37? I don't even remember if I was able to do this in my original playthrough, now that I think about it. Come on, then. Oh, and I noticed the clock's not stopping. So we're gonna have to do this again. Eh, <laughs> What am I looking for? Let's do it again! Oh my, my, my. Oh boy. I'm pretty sure this time around it's gonna just uh, stop and let us win. I hope. I hope. Like, I think if you're able to do this like reflexively without even looking, then you're winning. Can't even find five anymore. Oh, it's right next to six. Seven. There's nine. What if I just fail? Okay, let's try it again. Oh my gosh. This is not as bad as some of the other puzzles in other games for uh, in, or for uh, Nancy. Yeah, I couldn't find five. What's wrong with me? There's five. Six. 
Now we need eight. Eight. Ten. Where's eleven? I'm not sure if there's an actual system to this. It seems kind of random to me. 14. Something squeaky noising though. 17. Yeah, I am totally, my eyes are like, ah, this hurts. It hurts to stare at this. Yeah, I'm on 18. Where's 19 now? 19. 20. 21. 